Welcome down to the Malta Man Cave. I'm Keith. I'm Dave. Tonight we're doing a bourbon, a special bourbon, just for Dave. Yes. All right, so tonight, Dave, I brought out the big guns for you. Mm -hmm. As many people who follow the channel know, that one of Dave's absolute favorite bourbons was the E.H. Taylor small batch. Mm. So we raised it up a notch. I can't remember. I got this as a gift for myself or something. I don't know if it's anniversary or I don't know what it was, but I got this a while back. Colonel E.H. Taylor single barrel. So and may he rest in peace. I happen to think that. The Colonel E.H. Taylor line is one of the most underrated and all. And like, obviously, when I say underrated, everybody knows that like they love Colonel E.H. Taylor. And yeah. If they could get it, it's hard to get. But like, I think it's it's closer to being as good to like Pappy, and it's not quite as good as Stag, but it's closer than people like to think. And it, it doesn't. I don't think yeah. it gets as much love as it should. And, and I know that sounds crazy because everyone's like, what are you talking about, Keith? Everybody would love to get their hands on it. But, like, it doesn't have the same acclaim. It doesn't have the same status that, like, Pappy or the B-Tech, like, Buffalo, you know, like, the you yeah. wear 17 or George yeah. C. Stag or T.H. Handy. But I love Do you think that's it. mostly to do with the, the marketing that's gone into the other ones? You know, I don't know. I don't see much marketing. You see it with the B-Tac and Pappy? Mm, Pappy. I, I don't really see any marketing for it. I feel like Pappy's marketing is it's all word of mouth. The, yeah. And, the, and the articles of, you know, yeah. when all the Pappy got stolen. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, Colonel E.H. Taylor single barrel, just a little bit about it. It comes in at 50% ABV. Um, it says, Colonel Edmund Haynes Taylor Jr. demanded perfection. His um, uncompromising standards for the highest quality whiskey are legendary. Accordingly, the barrel selected for the single barrel whiskey comes from the best location in the warehouse. They always say that about every every distillery says they got it from the best, the best. What is the area best location the in a warehouse? I think they say typically it's like the middle. You always ask me questions that I used to know, and then I so like not too wet, not too dry, not too. I think it's kind of like yeah, like in the middle, the direct middle. So like if it's like couple stories high it's like in the middle of that and like in the middle like width wise too i could be wrong i'm talking on my butt um, really, i know quite really a bit well. about bourbon but i you know yeah. i would claim to be more more of an expert or know more things about scotch i've put more passion into that even though i love bourbon i'm pretty sure this is the middle it, it all just depends on like where they feel like the temperature is really correct is like the right yeah, yeah I gotcha. temperature yeah. so anyways any, any more thing i want to say about this So without further ado, let's get in some whiskey. Not very much left. And <clears throat> Dave has got to try this, I think twice now, but Dave did not get to put any notes down. Yeah, maybe you finish her off. Oh. I may have to pour a little bit, I don't know how much. No, there's plenty. I think there's plenty. Ooh, oh, cheers. Oh, You're my good. goodness. Here, buy, you, you know what to do with it. <laughs> so many thumbnails. <laughs> so good. I'm so sad. This is God. All right. So what do you get on the palate, buddy? Oh, man. You mean the, the noser? Yep. Uh, what did I say? The palate? Yeah. The, uh, what do you get uh, on the nose? Green apples. I'm trying not to look at uh, your memories. Uh, your <laughs> You remember? What? No, we don't got your, notes. Well, you have a you have a word cloud. Um, we've been it's friends off an for iCloud. We, we've been my friends notes are in the so iCloud. Long. Yeah, we, I'm pulling it down out of it. Um, so I'm going to not pay attention to it. Um, Dad put me on front street. I'll get. Uh, I get. Um, what are those? Um, stretchy. So now, green if, he, apple. if he gets any notes that I say, we know that he stole my I notes. promise you. Um, Stretchy green apple. What are those things Laffy called? Taffy? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, man, I can't remember. S Stretchy green apple. They're like taffy, but they're um. Man, I can't remember. If you're, you're talking about. Like have you ever had this? Have you ever had the suckers that it's like um, green apple and then there's caramel over top oh, of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, so something, similar to that. Like similar that. to that. Yeah. There is a little green. I, I didn't get green apple at all, and I. Oh, I was I was afraid that I was. No. Like, I don't know. 
maybe a little bit of uh, brown sugar. Man, that's so good. Hmm. I'm telling you. I mean, I've had better bourbons this, but this is so good for the price that um, I got this for. That's the other thing. It's very floral it's, and sweet to me. Yeah. Um, it's uh, It's got a very sweet floral, uh, man, like oh. spring flowers, um, maybe lilacs. Mm. Maybe. It smells like lilacs to me. So, <clears throat> immediately... Oh, it's so just like a little bit of it's slight cinnamon, but it's just just slightly there, but it's there in like the most delicate, beautiful, balanced way. Yeah, almost like you're in like a a wood shaving shop, like a little wood shavings. Yeah. And the next, and I don't think I've said this before, um, but a lot of times if you go to the distillery, they they show you like how they you know when they take the corn or the malted barley or the rye, and they have like little samples of this is before we you know chopped it up and and. Uh, before they get um, the grist. Um, but sometimes they actually have samples of like, this is before they milled it, and, and then the corn before. And it, it, have you ever been, you know, even at Young's Dairy? Yeah. But they have that little play place in the corn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing it, how it's yeah. kind of like dusty. Yeah. It's like dusty corn. I got you. Like little bits of like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like I got dusty, you. It smells like being dusty, in one hard of those corn. giant uh, corn pits. Yep. And my favorite note, and the best thing, and I think I... How you know you live in the Midwest. <laughs> we, we are from... You the have the farm play belt. places full of corn. We are in the Rust Belt and the Farm Belt all at the same time. The best note that I get, and I get this on the small batch too, is sugar daddy candy. Ooh. Like just that sweet, caramely, sugar confection. That's what I was trying to sugar think Sugar daddy, like the stretchy. No. I don't know, it's so good. Or like sugar babies, if you haven't had the sugar daddies. Are you a sugar daddy or a sugar baby kind of guy? I like them both, but I think... I think I like them both, too. Um, what's the difference between the two? The sugar daddy is like... It's actually like a sucker, like a thick, square, rectangle, rectangle-looking sucker. sugar and baby get, is just a sugar, little It's like piece. a little... It's like, yeah, the yeah. little pieces. Yeah. Same kind of consistency, I would imagine. Maybe a little different, but... Um, so the sugar daddy... A little bit of slight great Kool-Aid. So I'm going to say something that's kind of kind of a paradox. So it, it's smooth and like subtle, but yet full of flavor all at the same time. We talk, I think we talked about this a little bit in the last yeah. year, that being smooth isn't always a good thing. But sometimes if it's still full of flavor and smooth, it's kind of a beautiful, a beautiful kind of combination. And that's what I get. It's like smooth, but yet full of flavor. That um, reminds me of uh, your corn dust. Kind of, it makes me remind. Have you ever put your nose into like a Kool Aid uh, container of the dry powder mm -hmm. and smelled it? Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of that. Then I get. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you haven't. You haven't. You haven't ever huffed sure, the Kool Aid. Sure did. You haven't huffed the Kool Aid, have you? <laughs> Gotten that in deep in your lungs. <laughs> Um, I get vanilla wafers. Okay. I okay. get. I can ride that. Ride. Obviously, like any bourbon, I get the caramel. Yeah. Um, and then lastly, kind of just like this, this beautiful like syrupy corn syrup note, just super thick corn syrup, just yeah. deliciousness. What about Reminds that? me a little bit more of like a table syrup. Like not quite a maple syrup, but like what you're talking about. That maybe the cinnamon. Syrup? Yeah, like a little bit, but like a light pancake syrup. There's some kind it's of not other, much maple. There's another spice in there that I can't quite detect. Coriander. There's something about coriander, fennel, fennel. And I feel like I can always find fennel in bourbons. It's so funny. Um, I can I can get I can get a little flannel on this now that I just yeah. Said that. There is like a linen or flannel. Yeah. 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 All right, what about the palate? Mm, let's get into it. Mm. Oh, man. So it is like that corn syrup just coats, coats very drying feeling to it. But uh, um, mm. Mm, but definitely a syrupy brown sugar, cinnamon, um, that kind of taffy note is there mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, 
Man, that's good. Yep. So I get just the right amount of burn too. Mm -hmm. Let's you know, hey, <laughs> I got some power. I got something in the barrel for you. So I get everything that I got on the nose. I get like the dusty corn, the wood shavings, um, the sugar daddies, grape Kool-Aid. Mm. I definitely get uh, kind of a, uh, it's not a red licorice, it's a, it's a, bl it's a black licorice note. <laughs> Dave laughing. Because <laughs> he knows I have that on my notes. It's a, it's a strong, you definitely get that it's a strong black licorice <laughs> note. Mm, mm. But you're definitely right, man. Dude, the cinnamon actually is takes a lot more prominent um, role in the palate than yeah. it does on the on the nose. It's I almost agree. like red hot candy that you get for Christmas. You know, but like it's the, not the fake cinnamon taste. Real cinnamon. It's like a real red hot made yeah. out of like pure cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon challenge. My goodness. My goodness. Mm. Um, caramel, sweet caramel. You know, not caramel, sweet um, corn syrup. Just. Oh man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, man. That's pretty good. Black licorice, which I put in my notes. Mm. Um, a little bit <clears throat> of cherries. So like the cinnamon and cherries really pops out. They don't pop out quite as much as they do on the nose for me. Yeah. Um, and lastly, kind of a buttery caramel popcorn. Do you, I think I know yeah. I've said this before. If, do you guys, has your family ever do that? Excuse me, on the holidays. Put my little, mom didn't do that this year. She said she was gonna put a little cinnamon and. No, she she makes um, caramel popcorn, Ooh. like fresh hot off. Have you ever had it fresh hot off the stove? No. Like may, she makes fresh caramel and then makes her own popcorn that she does. Makes. She still like have the little thing on the stove that pops the popcorn. Yes, yeah, she does. And then she you know puts all the goo together, and then we put like food coloring so it's like green or red oh, or that's awesome. for like for christmas she didn't make it this year but i love Marlene. it and i get a little buttery caramel popcorn on this but i like it what about the, uh what about the finish, finish? i'm struggling um, tonight kind of it's been a long week i know i kind of i kind of twisted his arm <laughs> it wasn't a long week obviously with the christmas break but going back to work yeah, after new being year's. off you yeah. know for new year's because I, I didn't have to work Monday or Tuesday, and then I had Wednesday off for New Year's, so then Thursday and Friday, it's just like, uh, I, and things are going on at work uh, with our our software system that is a hot mess, so yeah, it's been stressful, so. That never makes it easy. What about the, the, finish? the finish? Yeah. So it's, it's definitely a, um, I feel like it's a long finish, um, uh, but maybe medium to long. Mm -hmm. Um it, it has a it's a little it's thin it's a little thinner than you would think i would say the feeling be. probably the abv more than anything makes it stick around as far as the the heat yeah. on the palate goes and uh, sometimes it, buffalo trace has a bad habit of chill or yeah chill filter and maybe you're getting a little bit i don't know if this is or not i'll look and put it right there but i know they have a bad habit i of also chill get a little sometimes. that might lead to my next thing, it's got a little bit of like a dry eraser taste to it at the end of it yeah. for me. I get kind of an astringent cinnamon note. I could see how, yeah. I like dry eraser though. <laughs> <laughs> you did sniff a lot of those in high school, bro. Oh, dude, you got to, man. Get by. Oh, but smell that nose now. Isn't that oh, yeah. so much better? Yeah. This one, if you leave it out, have you ever left out a glass of bourbon like after you Overnight. drink it and you don't wash it out? It is so smells so good the next day. This glass right before I cleaned it. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, oh, looking right. real suspect. <laughs> I had a couple old glasses. I was like, Dave, could you go wash this? <laughs> and I said it needs it real bad. This I, I I went to clean it and it like reached up at me. Like, <laughs> So for me, that's the only criticism of this is the finish. It's a little thin, um, and it doesn't. It's it's medium. It's not long at all. It's just medium. Maybe even long to medium. short to you know short to medium. Um, but it does have all those delicious caramel, 
buttery caramel popcorn, dusty corn, slight grape Kool-Aid, fennel. Um, it's got good, it's good stuff. It's just kind of thin and kind of sh shorter than you would expect for such a quality bourbon. So, Malta Man Cave Mark, what are you going to give this? I'm going to give it a, uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, you didn't like this, I don't think, as much as I thought you were going to like it. No, uh, the way you've been talking. Well, it's because you, you got me thinking. I really wanted to like this. So this will kind of lead us into it right, right before. Our question of the night tonight is kind of like, what, what is our bourbon of the year? Sort of. Like, what, what did we kind of enjoy the most? And uh, it got me. Keith said, well, you might, like, you might like this a lot. So I really wanted to like this a lot, a lot. And I... I and the other one that you set, mentioned to me, I didn't want to choose that because, of course, I'm going to choose it because I always choose it. <clears throat> Anyways, this didn't really knock my knock my socks off as much as I hoped it to. So maybe that like taints it a little bit for me. But also to it. Um, What'd you eat today? Take any medicine? Sometimes food or what you ate or medicine you take can affect your taste buds. Because I've noticed sometimes that I'm not saying that I'm just. She's like, like devil's advocate. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm going to give it. So I'm going to give this an 89. 89? An 89. It's funny. That's what I'm going to give it. Oh, yeah? It's, it's teetering on an 89 to 90. For yeah. Me. Yeah. Um, if it was the finish was, if they didn't chill fill, I guess I don't know if they chill fill or not. I had if it was a, If it was a little thicker and less thin and the, the finish last, it'd be definitely a 90. But I will say this in this defense. I think the E.H. Taylor small batch and the single barrel out of all like the higher, more premium end of Buffalo Trace, you know, whether it's Pappy, whether it's George C. Stagg, whether it's or the lower end kind of Weller Special Reserve or Blanton's, you know, Elmer T. Lee. I think E.H. Taylor, especially the small batch and the single barrel, are the best bang for your buck out of everything Buffalo Trace does, in my mm -hmm. opinion. And I think the small batch is especially the best bang for your buck. Sure. So don't go get it so we can find it. But <laughs> if you have to know the truth, the small batch takes the cake, I think, for us. I agree. I so, agree. 89 for both of us, small to man cave approved. Yeah. Question of the night, as you alluded to already, is, you know, it's, what is it, Friday evening, January the 3rd. Um, we recently celebrated the New Year's. Um, best bourbon that Happy we've had. Happy New Year. Over the last year. I think I know what you're going to say now. Yeah. What, what, what do you think it was for you? What was the best bourbon that you had this year? So your bottle of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, the A one one nine, delicious, your favorite? delicious, so good. yeah. So Elijah Craig Barrel Proof always comes to mind, and it is so 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 stinking good. And I need to get another bottle right meow. It's running low. <laughs> it's running a little low. But I think if I have to say the best bourbon I've had this year was um, shout out to D H Silv. Um, he brought to a tasting with me and Mike from Mike's Whiskey Reviews. Oh, the King of Kentucky, and I it you telling was me about the, that. It's the best bourbon I've had, and yes, it's better than George T. Stag. It is better than George T. Stag. It blew my mind how good it was. So George or <laughs> <laughs> George, um, King of Kentucky takes the cake for me, man. It's the best bourbon I've not only this last year, but that I've ever had. Who makes it? I Not sure. No, right? Meow. There. Maybe brown former. I don't know. Anyways, please like, subscribe. Thank you guys as always for watching. Um, turn on notifications, and as always, Scotch is king. No, but but, but bourbon is best. Apparently always. not. Eh Taylor yeah. single barrel for day. <laughs> I had such high hopes that this was gonna impress you. Elijah Craig. <laughs> Cheers.